Hey guys, I got a quick video for you. It's a little different from what I normally do with the airsoft forts. This is a little attachment I made by myself. Uh, it's custom made. It's for my M14 rifle. I made this butt pad. Um, I don't know, it's like a cheek cover with like uh, pockets for accessories. I don't, I don't know what you'd call it. But uh, basically, whoops. What I did was I took some old cargo shorts that I had that don't fit me anymore and the button broke off. Um, they look really tattered now because I basically just I used scissors and my Swiss Army knife and I cut it apart. So I took the pant sleeve off. Um, it looked just like this one. It, it had two pockets except they're smaller and then it had a big pocket and then a zipper pocket which this side doesn't have so yeah now I've got uh, the M16 and basically I just wrap the sleeve around the uh, the stock and I use tape for the most part to hold it on the right side has a zipper pocket, and I use that to hold my speed loaders. I chose this gun to do it on, the M14 specifically, instead of my UTG Master Sniper, or say one of my shotguns, because this clip only holds about 30, and my other rifle, I have four clips that hold 25 each, and my shotgun will hold about 50, so I don't really need extra ammo on any of those guns, but I would like to put the speed loader on this one instead of in my pockets also because a lot of the time when I'm running through the woods doing that it falls out of my pocket and then I lose it and I have to go buy another. So this was a pretty nice thing. It only took me probably like less than a half hour to do. And on this side you can see I cut a hole in the bottom after I had already wrapped it over. I uh, I poked a hole in it with my knife and then I cut it with the scissors and that way there was room for this shoulder strap to stick out so I could reattach that and although now there's a hole in this this pocket I mean, but what I'm and since well this part's not really good for putting stuff in because um, well that one is just a pocket that doesn't have a cover over it this one has a cover but the velcro is really not very good so what I do do but, uh, just a second, I have to find where I put it okay I found it so what I do is I take my walkie talkie and I can clip it on there because it has the belt clip and that way I don't have to hold it and I mean I don't use it that much just because if you're talking on walkie talkie in the airsoft battle and someone hears the beeping it doesn't uh, what we're trying to say, you, you'll get spotted, so, but I don't know, it's just a, something I thought to put there, and this one, this pocket I don't use too much, just simply because the belt is not working, and then the zipper pocket can hold two speed loaders, but, um, the one thing that happens is the pocket's actually longer than, um, the camo fabric itself so when I put two in it forces it down and then it's white and it gives you away a bit more so I just it can hold two speed loaders but I just use one that way uh, the white pocket doesn't show very well and there's also this big pocket that also has a cover with velcro um, but that doesn't work that well either it's the same as the front pocket so I don't, I don't know what this could be used for. Um, maybe if you had like one of those little BB carriers that's more, it looks like kind of rectangular, like a box, then you could use that. Um, but yeah, so this is just like a little mod I made. Um, I think it works pretty well. It looks kind of cool, and it didn't take that long to make. It was cheap and free, which is always good because. Those tattered pants I had, um, or shorts, didn't need them anymore. 
so I guess, um, tell me what you guys think about this, and uh, when I found these shorts, um, they were in with my, <laughs> a bunch of my other, uh, clothes that I don't use anymore, and with them, I can find them, was the pair of pants I used for our zombie video that I made with my friends, and they're also pretty cut up. Um, I don't use these anymore for anything. We just used them for the video. Um, but yeah, I can put a... I think I might have mentioned this in another video too, but I'll put a link in the description to that video. I, it, I think it's pretty funny um, and cool if you guys want to watch it. But yeah. I'll also put a link in the description to the rest of my airsoft guns and the video I have that reviewed most of those. I'll also pretty soon here be getting a couple new guns. They should ship by Tuesday, I think they said. Um, or they'll get here by then, is what they estimated. So I'll do reviews for those as well, and I'll see you guys then.